Why did that teacher get fired from your school? Story 1. He wanted to date a teacher, and she turned him down. So, he suspected that she was sleeping with a student. He then hired a private investigator and had her followed. She found out about it, went to the cops, requested a restraining order, and he was brought up on stalking charges. He was fired. I don't recall her facing any sort of discipline. It was the 17-year-old star basketball player. It all started because he was bragging. The rumors of her dating a student started well before the teacher started pursuing her. The rejected teacher hired a private investigator because he heard the rumor mill. Most people in the school thought the two teachers were dating because the male teacher was always in her classroom, even during class hours. He would buy her flowers often. She was the cheerleader's coach, and he was always sitting in on her practices after school. The male teacher abruptly stopped going to her class and going around her. The private investigator and stalking accusations came two months after that. Everyone figured he had her followed after he was rejected. Story 2. He was a gym teacher for over 30 years. He volunteered to stand near the trash cans during lunch every day to ensure the students dumped their food and gave their finished trays to the cafeteria workers in an organized way. He had done this for decades, even when my father father attended that junior high. One day, a student decided to toss her entire tray in the trash instead of dumping the contents and giving it to the cafeteria worker. He removed the tray from the trash and gave it back to her. She threw a carton of chocolate milk at his face, close range. He responded by punching her in the eye. I was expecting the twist to be that he was eating any leftover lunches that were thrown away for 30 plus years, lol. Story 3. Embezzled something like 20,000 from the school field trips she was in charge of scheduling for the whole school. All field trips that needed to be paid for, she planned and took the money for. Overcharged the students, but only deposited the amount for what the trip cost and kept the rest. Did it for decades and stole about $20,000 over time. Not only fired, but charged and found guilty. Not sure how much time she was given. Compared to all the other answers on this thread, some good old-fashioned financial crime seems positively wholesome. Story 4. Because he set up a camera in the middle school theater changing room. Girls side. His dumbass was at the beginning of the video, turning the camera on and adjusting a modified shoebox he put over it to hide it. A student found it and took it home, watched it with parents. Goodbye, Mr. Goebel. Story 5. History teacher never really taught history. Sometimes he'd just yell at the kids in class. It got worse when his son died in a desert storm. He then spent half the class time crying. Assistant principal had to take over one too many days. Eventually, he stopped coming to school, and we never saw him again. The most awesome teacher I ever had was a history teacher, but totally awkward. He was sadly a drunk, but a funny one, and a great storyteller the type that would wave a broomstick pretending he was in battle. One of his weird habits during all these awesome stories is that he would be eating the chalk, just casually nibble it from out of his fist as if it were peanuts. There were situations, and I don't make this up, that he wanted to write something on the blackboard only to realize he ate all the chalk. <laughs> Story 6. He was actually just a substitute, left quicker than he arrived, told our class he practices judo, so one student told him to show a move. The move he chose to demonstrate on the student in front of the class was a sleeper hold. Put that mother ducker right to sleep and got charged with assaulting a minor. This sounds like something that would happen in a comedy. I can just picture the sub hopping through the classroom window and hauling ass to his car from there. Story 7 gave a student written confirmation of the zero tolerance policy, highlighting that any two students involved in a fight would get the same punishment. Next time the kid got bullied, he f***ing tore into the bully and started pounding him in the head with a trash bin lid. The written confirmation got used to successfully demand that both students suffer the same consequences, especially after the student showed that he had received confirmation that he wouldn't be punished more severely for fighting back. From that point, can I get that in writing was basically a get out of jail free card. Story 8. This happened in Germany, where teachers are tenured, so it's really f hard to get fired as a teacher, but she still managed to achieve that. Well, Miss M was a failed artist and an art teacher. She predicted her own non-existent success onto her students and had them participate in art contests non-stop. We hated those because we really didn't want our creativity to be exploited for the personal self-worth of a psychopathic witch with a drinking problem. So we started a little resistance. We had our parents apply pressure at the parent-teacher conferences to stop her from doing the contests. And, at the same time, Plain refused to have our work sent in. It devolved quickly. She didn't take it well. One day, she was in a particularly bad mood and on some nonsensical rant about whatever, when a different art teacher knocked on the door and requested that his classmate passed through her room to his room because his room's door lock was broken. Q25 students shuffled through the classroom in awkward silence while Miss M offloaded her frustrations on the other teacher who ignored her and left for his room. 
A couple minutes later, he stuck his head back through the door and requested to have another chair because he didn't have enough for his class. Miss M completely lost the tiny bit of sanity she had left and physically attacked him with a chair, like full on hitting him with the thing while screaming unintelligibly about him disturbing her precious teachings. He fled through her classroom because, if you remember, his door was broken and went straight to the headmaster who came in and put her on disciplinary leave in front of the whole class. She was never seen again. Story 9. My dad subbed, teacher, for a while after he retired. He got personally escorted out of school once for doing black magic for fifth graders. He did a card trick and he was in the process of cutting a sheet of paper in a way that makes it possible to walk through it. He is currently banned for life from Deer Park Public Schools in Washington. Story 10. Not my school, but the school he went to after mine. He was hired as a soccer coach, I believe, and somehow ended up coaching cheerleaders. He ended up having a relationship with a 14-year-old student. The girl wrote about it in her diary. Her mom read it, called the cops, and they had the girl invite him over for sex. He knocked on the door, and they jumped out and arrested him. This was 20-ish years ago. I think he is out now. Story 11. All his classes were failing. He spoke unintelligible, didn't explain anything well, and if anyone asked a question, he'd respond with, um, ask someone else who does know, as if we ever wanted to ask him anything unless the entire class didn't understand. This was my old chemistry teacher. He was fired halfway through the year. We then didn't have any chemistry classes for a while. The other chemistry teacher couldn't take over all the vacant hours, but she gave us a three-week crash course at the end of the year. I learned more in those three weeks than I did the first six months with the fired guy. Story 12. He showed us Pulp Fiction in history class and forgot got to take out the tape when returning AV equipment. Story 13. An ex grew up in a tiny nowhere town in Wyoming. One day they got a long lunch break and their teacher was walking out to a car with some people in suits and military clothes. It turns out he switched dog tags with someone killed in Vietnam and the dead soldier's parents went to the military when their son didn't call or visit. He had hidden in one of the most isolated places in the US and it took enough time for him to finish a degree and get a job. Story 14. He was a great teacher, but it turns out there was a reason as to why he always closed his laptop when we walked by. He was watching adult videos in the sixth grade classroom on the school Wi-Fi. Story 15. She almost got fired for that, but somehow she stayed. She got pregnant with one of her students on prom night and found out after his graduation. The funniest part is, she was the sex ed teacher. Story 16. Had a samurai sword in his trunk. Proceeded to unsheath it during a fire drill because his lineup location was next to his car and show people. The best part was that after he got fired, people posted flyers around the school of him photoshopped with a samurai outfit with a caption of free my homie samurai so-and-so. Story 17. He was asked to resign because he was engaged to one of the other teachers. They're still happily married and he made more money as a carpenter. Great guy. Story 18. They posted a QR code for the Boston Public Library so that kids could get access to banned books. Not exactly fired, but written up for discipline, and eventually during the process, left the school. Story 19. Dude was a social studies teacher. He was also the girls' swim team coach. One day in class, he connected his computer to the projector, but he clicked the wrong file, and instead of whatever video he intended to show the class, a video of the girls' swim team using the school's showers was presented instead. There was a girl from the swim team in the class when it happened. Dude got canned and taken out of the school by the local PD. Story 20. She full-bodied a student on the wall and started yelling at him because he wasn't sitting still and respecting our fifth grade practice graduation ceremony. She was six foot two and heavy set. He was frail. You can imagine how that went. She was a love teacher though, so she got hired back as a hall monitor. Called a black kid a cotton picker. He was a science teacher and we were using cotton balls in a science experiment. I'm unsure what he thought the outcome of this comment could have been, other than immediate termination. Story 23. She got angry with a student. Dude was an asshole and would disrespect her daily. So she said he was a witless brat that only passed each year because his father was a corrupt lawyer that paid the school, so he didn't fail every subject. She was right and everyone knew it. She got fired a week later. Story 24. She had a 78% failing rate out of all her biology classes. The class was broken off into two days, and one day you'd spend all day in class learning, and the next day you'd spend time in the lab to learn the experiments. The problem with this system is, we'd take a test 
fail, and when we went to our lab, we would learn everything we needed to know for that test we had just failed. As a class, we came to her and explained to her what was going on, and she caught attitudes with us every time. The worst part is, instead of stepping up and trying to help us find a solution, she'd hit us with the, When I was in school, no one helped me, and followed that up with telling us to just read our textbook. At one point, there was homework that was supposed to be assigned, and when she asked for it, we got confused. Turns out, she never posted it for us to do, so when we told her that, she blamed us, and told us we should have said something to her about the homework not being posted. The class I was in ended up having 25 out of 27 people failing the class, with the remaining people barely passing. We gave her a review, and what I didn't know at the time was not only did my entire class leave a bad review with their own stories, but her other two classes also left bad reviews. She was fired the last day of classes. Story 25. She dared a troublemaker to hit her. He said, I don't hit people with glasses. She took them off. He backed down. She said, that's what I thought. He was disruptive and just an asshole. She backed him down. Even 20 plus years later, I think she handled it perfectly. The school board disagreed, and she got fired. Story 26. She was going through a divorce. In hindsight, I guess it was a bit harsh for the school to fire her because of it, but she kinda stopped giving us classes and just spent her time unloading all her marital problems on a bunch of 13-year-olds. Story 27. That teacher was my stepdad. He got fired for being physically abusive to his students. Good for the students. Bad for me and my siblings who could not just fire him. As a side note, the only place he could get a job after that was on a reservation. He started pulling that shit with those students, and there was no long, drawn-out firing process. They just vandalized our house and trashed the car. Done and done. I admired the f out of those res kids. Story 28. Some students made allegations that the teacher had assaulted them. Teacher got fired and career ruined. It later came out that the student account was completely false, and several students knew the kid intended to lie because he didn't like the teacher. The kid even made a false police report at some point during the whole fiasco. Everything came out later, but the dude's life was already ruined. This happened to my old AutoCAD teacher. A girl claimed he was sleeping with her and had gotten her pregnant. It went all the way to court because she was underage. Turns out, she wasn't pregnant. She had never slept with him and didn't like him because he was fond of jump-scaring students who were goofing off instead of working. The allegations broke up his marriage and ended his career. I don't know where he is now since he, more or less, fell off the grid. As for the girl, she's a Karen now and her Facebook account confirms she's in an MLM. She's known for ending one of the most popular electives my old school ever had that wasn't sports or music. Story 29. My history teacher's son had an illness. I'm not sure what, but it was terminal. He needed more time off to be with him and his family. Apparently, he had used his allotted vacation and sick time up already, and the school board wouldn't approve any more, so he just left. Can no longer be employed in the district because of it, I heard. Everybody loved him, too. One of the few teachers who really cared about his job and his students. The lady they brought in to replace him did nothing wrong, but nobody could truly replace him. The whole class dropped about five points in grade because of it. I missed him a lot, because he was one of the few teachers I ever tried to really impress. Story 30. Burned an American flag in the classroom to illustrate free speech. She was a language arts teacher. Aside from the groups of people that would be upset by that, she also straight up lit a fire in the classroom. Story 31. Not someone who got fired, but someone who definitely should have. Our home ed teacher wasn't restocking our ingredients and forced students to eat rotten food. I'm not talking about slightly expired food. She made us scrape off the completely black layer of carrots before using them, and forced people to just cut the mold off from the potatoes. No one believed us until we got picture proof and the school didn't start talking to her until we threatened to call the Food Safety Bureau in my country. She stopped forcing us to eat expired food, but she still works there till this day. Story 32. Biology teacher was fired when the principal saw how a student yelled and threw a test in the teacher's face. The teacher already had some clashes with school authorities, so they used that situation to fire her because she didn't show authority over the students. A few years later, I entered a bakery store, and there was my old teacher. She was the owner of the store, happy, and her employees spoke very well about her. Story 33. My high school principal was fired for hypnotizing students. He would do it at school functions and stuff. Everyone knew and was cool with it. He 
hypnotized a bunch of seniors in my class after graduation. Funniest thing I've ever seen. This isn't going where you think it's going, though, because he wasn't trying to bang high school girls. It was found out he was hypnotizing the football team before games to be better. Not that it worked. They were always shit, and probably still are shit, but that was discovered as cheating, and he was fired for it. Story 34. Turns out he didn't actually have the credentials to teach high school English. People were pissed because the boys' basketball team was doing really well, and he could no longer coach. Also, the girls' soccer coach married one of his players a few years after she graduated. Probably still coaching, though, lol. Story 35, yelled at a student that she wasn't ever going to graduate because she was so stupid, added that he would be glad to see her in a couple of years when he would need to change the oil in his car. What an ass. Story 36, he kicked a volleyball out of anger and it bounced off of a girl's face doing some damage. He was already on thin ice though after doing something that really should have got him fired immediately. He shot a student's dog in retaliation after the student's dog killed his dog. The student and the teacher lived in the same neighborhood, and both dogs were loose at the time the teacher's dog was originally killed. The big problem was that the dog that was shot was on a leash and being walked by the kid at the time. This was in the early 90s in South Texas. Story 37. There was this awesome teacher, Mr. V. He was witty, funny, and cared for his students dearly. His lessons were always captivating and interesting. The most boring topics came to life and made you a participant and gave a genuine vested interest. There was another teacher, Mrs. Juggs. She was very attractive, blonde, perfect hourglass figure, and very well kept. At the staff Christmas party, Mr. V, who was unsurprisingly well liked by all the other staff, asked Mrs. Juggs to get some more drinks. Not sure if it was punch or alcohol. She obliged. She came back holding two drinks in her hands in very festive cups. Mr. V, nice cups. Thanks for the drink, Mrs. Juggs. Excuse me, what? Mr. V, the cups, they're nicely decorated. Better than the red ones. You filled them up nicely too. Thanks, Mrs. Juggs walks away. The next day, Mr. V has a sexual harassment suit against him. He's an upset married man of 25 years, faithful to his wife. He would always mention her or say how they spent their weekend together, etc. Ended up getting terminated after working at the same school for 15 years. Mrs. Juggs was there her first year. 